I'm the king of rock. There rock. is none higher. Sucker MCs should call me sire. To burn my kingdom, you must choose fire. I won't stop rock until I retire. Now we rock the party. It come correct. All cuts are on time. And rhymes connect. Got the right to vote. And we'll elect. And other rappers can't stand us. But give us respect. Hey, what's up? Sorry I haven't made a video in such a long time. But this is on me my WWE SummerSlam 2009 preview slash prediction. Uh, I'm going to go over the matches, uh, who I think is going to win, who I want to win. Uh, matches in no particular order. First match is MVP versus Jack Swagger. As some of you know, I went to a home show, Raw presents uh, the SummerSlam tour. Uh, it was actually Jack Swagger versus MVP in one of the matches. I believe it was the match of the night. It was a very nice, long, technical, technical, ah, technical match. Sorry about that. Uh, a lot of submission holds. Uh, a lot of reversals, a lot of chain wrestling. Uh, the only thing about the match is people sitting around me, I guess they don't like technical wrestling, and they kept on screaming, this is boring. I wanted to choke them. But like I said, that was the match of the night. If the match is anything like it was there, it's going to be at least a four-star match. Like I said, a lot of technical wrestling. Who I think is going to win MVP, who I want to win MVP, and why? It's because when MP, MVP came over, he had a little a feud with MVP and Legacy for maybe one or two weeks. And then all of a sudden the feud just stopped. I think he needs to win this match and possibly help push him into the main event more. Next match, the Great Kyle Lee versus Kane. Uh, before I get any further, I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I watch Raw and ECW and SmackDown I haven't really seen in a while. I've seen clips and stuff on the internet. Not because I don't want to watch it, uh, because Monday nights, my Monday nights are free, and I have a lot going on Thursday, uh, Tuesday, and on Fridays, and I don't get WWE superstars here, so, uh, I may be a little behind on the storyline, so they may, these matches may make more sense to you. The raw ones I get, as I was saying, Great Khali versus Kane. uh, like I said, I don't know if there's really a storyline behind this, because I really didn't see... Uh, the SmackDown before they made this match. But who I want to win and who I think is going to win, I'm going to go with Kane. Was because Kane's back and as most of you know, Kane's been floating around uh, the mid-car scene for how long. I think he needs another push to be help, help push into the main event. And the Undertaker's coming back, so it's possible we have Undertaker, Kane, Few, or Brothers of Destruction back together. So I'm going to go with Kane. Legacy versus DX. Obviously, DX demolished, I mean, um, Legacy demolished DX on this past Monday Night Raw, but it's also Triple H to Shawn Michaels, so I want Legacy to win, but because it is DX, I'm, I'm going to go with DX to win. Like I said, every time, basically if Triple H is in the match, it's probably a pretty good percentage that he's going to win, so I'm going to go with Legacy to win. The next match is the Unified Tag Team Championships. Chris Jericho and Big Show versus Crime Time. Before I get into who I think so win, wasn't it a couple years ago Crime Time was in a tag team turmoil match, I believe it was Cyber Sunday, and the winner of that match got a, a tag team championship title match? Did they ever get their match? For some reason, I don't ever remember them getting their match for the titles on pay-per-view or on their uh, weekly show. If somebody can figure that out for me, because like I said, if they did, I completely missed that match. Uh, who I think is going to win, and who I want to win, uh, I think Chris Jericho and Big Show are going to end up for Kane, and maybe have this feud drag out a little longer. Who I want to win is Crime Time, because like I said, I'm a Crime Time fan. Like I said, I don't ever remember him getting a tag team title shot ever, and especially since they won the match, and the stipulation was they should have got a title shot. Next match is the Intercontinental Title Championship match, Rey Mysterio vs. Del Ziggler. Uh, like I said, I watched, not this week's Raw, but the Raw before when Del Ziggler uh, won the number one contender spot. Uh, who I want to win, I want Rey Mysterio to win, who I think is going to win, uh, probably Del Ziggler, because if he wins the title, they can use that to father the feud with Rey Mysterio and push Del Ziggler up towards the main event spot or upper mid card. Uh, next match, uh, Christian vs. Rene Regal for the ECW Championship. He said I don't watch ECW in a while, uh, but who I think
think is gonna win is probably Christian. Because uh, I know they have some up-and-comers on ECW, like Ezekiel Jackson and a couple other people that I think will put on good matches with Christian. Uh, so I think Christian is going to retain the title. Next match is John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. I'm a Randy Orton fan, but minus being a Randy Orton fan, do we really need Triple H? I mean, I'm John Cena as a champion again. Sorry to Triple H because it falls on the same line. So it's Triple H or John Cena in the main event, and they're always in the title picture. Don't you think we should keep Randy Orton? And uh, I was watching a video, uh, I forget the username, but he said if MVP wins, it's possible that if Randy Orton retains, you have MVP Randy Orton feud. Like I said, that falls in line with, like I said, if MVP, MVP wins, he, gets, he can get pushed more towards the main event. I was one of the ones hoping MVP and Randy Orton would have a nice long feud. Uh, like I said, Randy E. Orton, to me, is a good wrestler. Some people say he's not a good wrestler. Uh, he's an awesome heel, and MVP is a great technical wrestler. So, like I said, I thought that would have been a nice feud. And like I said, a couple weeks after MVP got the role, the feud just like to stop. So, I'm going to go with, like I said, if... I'm going to go with Randy Orton to win, but this WWE and John Cena, so anything's possible. So I'm going to go with Randy Orton, I want to win, and I think so going to win. Next match, uh, hopefully this is the main event, but probably the Randy Orton and John Cena would be the main event. It's a World Heavyweight Championship match, Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk in a tables, items, and chairs match. Uh, I'm going to go with Jeff Hardy because TLC is his match. But, on the other hand, I know Jeff Hardy gave notice of him leaving WWE, I don't, in the next couple of months, uh, I don't know how long he's going to be there. If he's going to be there for the next pay-per-view, I say you let him retain the title in this pay-per-view, and then the next pay-per-view possibly lose to CM Punk. Or, like I said, if he does lose to CM Punk, hopefully they keep the CM Punk Hardy feud until Jeff Hardy leaves. So I'm going to go with one and think Jeff Hardy's going to win. Uh, sorry, just kind of, I know it's thrown together already. I really don't feel good. And like I said, my camera is messed up. So sorry for the, like I said, kind of throwing this video together. But that's my WWE SummerSlam 2009 pick prediction. So peace out to them.